What's up everybody? Welcome back. We're with Texas Water Fishing. I'm out here today in beautiful Galveston Bay. We're out here with Up Above Adventures. We're on the vessel Got Her Hook. We got Cody out here, Captain Cody. We're just pulling up some lines, getting some stuff together. Juan, he is minority boat owner, captain, chef, uh, deckhand, uh, maintenance, electrician. He's everything. He's he's the boats, everything. He's the, the heart of the boat, but we're out here and uh, Cody's out here getting ready for the next trip that's getting ready to come up. And we're gonna teach you and show you how to tie some basic knots, um, main line to leader line, and I think he's gonna wrap it up with a nice polymer knot too. So stay tuned for that. That's coming short after these quick messages. So we got Cody out here, he's on the boat, got her hook, on the boat. rigging got, everything got, up, getting get her, ready get for her done on got her hooked. Get her done on got her hooked. Mm-hmm. You might so have to make a shirt out of that or something. So what kind of knot are you tying? This is an offshore this is, knot. So this is a new knot. It's basically the same as a Albright or a no-name knot. They call it the carrot. Knot. Carrot knot. Carrot knot. Okay. Yeah. So it's basically the same as these others. It's been tied for years. So you came through and loop, loop mm -hmm. the braid around. Yep. Loop. Okay. And you come down. Got to save the loop. Then you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll do eight. It'll slide through better on eight. 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 All right. Yeah. And then so then we come back and double it up. Come back come on back. the same one. Yeah. Kind of wrap back around two, three, four. Five. If you can see, I'm going back across. Six, seven, eight, and then we go back through no loop. that original loop there. It's twisted around one, so we don't want to get no twist because then it didn't pull through good. Back through like that. Moisten it. Moisten it a little bit. I'll probably have to put my little levies on. Pull this thing tight. Still might get a loop in it there. Yeah, don't want to cooperate. There you go. All right, we're gonna pull on this one. One of the two pulls that out, there it went. Gotta put the gloves on. Love gloves. Gloves. I like gloves. They Love make me gloves. happy. You are good. Wrap, wrap, wrap. Two, three. Pull it tight, baby. See what the end product looks like. It's pretty close. We might have to do a little tightening on some stuff there. But so there it goes, real nice. Mm -hmm. That looks good. That's pretty. It goes through the eyes very easy and smooth. And the carrot knot. The carrot knot. The carrot knot. So that's like gonna slide through the eyes of your mm -hmm. your rod pretty you good. Can, you can throw Fortuna with that. Let me go get my little finishing touching tools here. So we got a 60 pound mono. I'm not too sure what this braid is, but it's a nice they call short break you know we're getting everything ready for for snapper season uh, snapper season starts june 1st we have a couple of trips um this month you know that was pretty windy during may so we just canceled a lot so we just we had to uh push back another trip this is our third trip that we just pushed back that we have scheduled this coming weekend so you know that happens you know you don't want to take the clients out and get them sick and um uh, you know, and it's, May is like literally like the worst time of the year to try to be fishing offshore because you do get a lot of swells. So, you know, we do what's best for the clients and, and what's best for the boat and what's keep it safest. 
So we're at the boat today, organizing, going through, um, going through some stuff, organizing. You'll see it in a minute. Um, inside the boat, we got stuff everywhere. So I came and thought I'd come to the boat, give Cody a little bit of a hand, and to kind of more get more away than anything. But <laughs> but that's how I roll. So we'll see. Here he is, the man of the hour. I like your spectacles. Yeah, no. It takes yeah. takes I don't like my takes spectacles. four glasses to do anything. <laughs> Take two pairs. So Cody just showed me something pretty interesting. Instead of using anything to cut the line, he he burns it. Yeah. He burns it off, and then normally he, I've got a little mini torch. It was in it was yeah I was on this. It was on yeah, the so I like to. So on braided line, when you cut it, you know it's just smooth. And braided line is really bad about. Everybody thinks that they're losing fish because of breakage, but nine times out of ten, it's because you're not slippage. If they don't, if they tie like the improved trilene or all bright knot, they will slip when you put a lot of pressure on them on braided line. Really, the only one that doesn't slip is a Palomar knot, but uh, and the all bright might not slip, but uh, I think it does. And then if people say oh, braided line, it's trash. You know, it's not trash. It's your line slipping. But if you burn it it creates a little end and it melts and and it makes it hard for that line to slide through or if it's going to slip a little bit maybe that little bit of burn end that's not so slick stops at that at, you know the end of the knot and doesn't slide all the way through and you don't lose that big fish my friend don't want to burn the knot though with this let's see i don't like this big flame i can't be precise with it if i burn it way down here i'm just trying to cut the line with the Where's your other one at? Let's find your other one. Yeah, we need to find that other one. It was in... It's a little, the little guy I like. The propane, so, little propane torch. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to burn your knot, but you want to get it real close. So... Of that we get inside. I mean that's a, a 60 pound test. That's a pretty big line. Yeah. And uh, let's see how it creates that. If you can zoom way in there, see how that it created that lip. Off. That lip right there will keep that. If that knot slips any at all, then it's going to stop right at that edge and not go. Ahead, stop right at that edge and not go ahead and pull on through, and then you don't lose your fish. So that's a good tip in fresh water, salt water, fish, redfish, trout, whatever. I even burn the monofilament a lot of times too, and monofilament really doubles when you burn the tip of it, and it makes it nice and clean. And I can burn that a little bit farther, I think. And this this wind is bad. Watch your finger. Over here. There we go. That's perfect. And I kind of do that when it's still hot, and that flattens it out even more. And that is a clean. That's as pretty as they get, really. That's a pretty knot. You can use that for trout. You can, you know, if you don't want to use a swivel, you can use it for trout. For and a slice of the eye, fishing. very easy. Goes through right through. Goes through right through these. I mean, that's a big knot, and it still goes through yeah. the eyes. Good. I mean, it's a big line, not a big knot, but it goes through the eyes very well.